Have you been neglecting your dress shoes because you're just not sure how to clean them? Well, today we'll be cleaning and restoring a pair of dressy brogue shoes by Doc Martens in just three easy steps. If you don't know what a brogue shoe is, stick around until the very end as they share the ins and outs on what they are and how to clean, condition, and conserve your shoes. A quality pair of dress shoes can be expensive, but what's more expensive is if you don't take care of them properly because as soon as shoes look old, the sooner most people throw them away and spend more money on new ones. Hey guys, my name's Evan and it's my goal to share the skills and tools needed to love your leather. First off, preparation. Let's remove our laces and brush off any dust, dirt, or debris. And as I've said in the past, the place that hides the most dirt is the shoe tongue. Pretty nasty. In the past, brogue shoes were perforated leather footwear that allowed water to escape after walking through wet terrains. However, they've developed into modern formal footwear that use brogue perforations as decorative leather details for current formal footwear. So the next time you see any decorative perforated leather shoes, you know it's a brogue. If you own a pair of brogue shoes, or any dress shoes for that matter, but not a horsehair brush, you need to get one because as the saying goes, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Not sure which one to get? I'll leave my recommendation links in the description below. So why are brushes so important for brogue shoes? Well, because the brogue detailing, all those little holes, are notorious for harboring dust, dirt, and debris. Brushing your brogue shoes removes most of the particles and keeps your shoes looking dapper. As I said earlier, we'll be covering three easy steps, or what I call the three C's. Cleanliness, condition, and conservation. And if you follow these steps regularly, I guarantee that you can prolong the life of your shoes for years to come. Shout out to Cheesy McLove for requesting these brogue shoes. If you guys want a specific video or leather product you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. Step one, we're going to transform these shoes by washing the laces, scrubbing down our leather, and removing any particles we didn't get on the first brush. I'll be using my favorite product, Shoe MGK Cleaner and Conditioner, because of the amazing results it produces, but feel free to use whatever you're comfortable with as long as it's formulated for leather. And remember, you want to avoid soaking your leather with water or cleaner because this can permanently ruin the fibers of your leather, which will lead to dryness, cracking, or holes. If you have patent leather like these shoes, you won't have to worry so much about soaking because this type of leather, in comparison to an unfinished leather, is literally coated with a thin layer of plastic, which can prevent soaking and also make it really durable as well. Clean one section of your leather at a time and then wipe it off immediately to prevent soaking. You'll want to scrub with gentle to firm pressure, but never too hard. Scrub it evenly and thoroughly, and feel free to spend extra time around parts that really need it. Of course, never forget to scrub down the tongue of your shoes. If you haven't seen my Red Wing boot restoration, check it out because that tongue was insanely dirty, yet so satisfying to clean. Now, if there's something that gets stuck inside the brogue leather, you can use tweezers or a paper clip to remove any debris. Whatever you do, don't touch the tweezers to the side of the leather. If this reminded you of the kids game operation, comment below. But yeah, this little piece of paper took way too long to get out, but being white, it was an eyesore, so I'm glad we removed it. Anything that didn't come off the first pass of our gentle brushing, go ahead and try either gently scraping, brushing again, or what usually works for me is using a microfiber cloth with some cleaner and rubbing it away. Like I said earlier, the tongue is where most of the dirt hides, but don't neglect the eyelets as well. And as you guys can see, these things are filthy with stuck on grime and dirt. Scrape off what you can and then hit it again with some cleaner and that should do the job. Step number two, conditioning. If your shoes are faded or need pigment restored, this step is for you. If you remember at the beginning, we had a huge gouge where the patent leather had been ripped off completely. 
Now when it comes to patent leather, it's hard to restore unless you wanna go through the hassle of applying filler and lacquer. But today we'll just be applying some black pigmented leather cream with our brush. Now it's vitally important to use a leather cream rather than a wax polish because wax can build up over time and clog the brogue detailing. A cream like this is going to deeply nourish and pigment your leather while keeping the brogue detailing free and clear. Though if you only have a wax polish, just make sure not to get too much wax on your cloth at a time and avoid the brogue detail as you apply your wax. As before, be thorough as you brush in and around your brogue shoes because this will ensure that no cream is left inside the details. Once your cream is evenly dispersed and dry, take your horsehair brush and shine up that leather. As I always say, brush fast, not hard. It's all about friction, not force. Now, if you guys don't need to recolor your leather or maybe you just wanna take the easy route, ShoeMGK's Neutral Cream is the way to go. Literally, you get an instant shine and it can be applied to any color. Just make sure not to apply it on any nubuck or suede. And remember, a little goes a long way. If you guys want the results that I get, feel free to give them a try at shoemgk.com and make sure to use my code EVAMIS for 20% off and free shipping. Links in the description below. Now that our laces have soaked, we can simply squeeze out the water and run it through a cloth to remove any of the excess moisture. Our last and final step is conservation, that is prolonging the life of your leather shoes. I'd highly suggest investing in some cedar shoe trees because they prevent creasing and cracking as well as absorb any smells or moisture from your shoes. shoes cleaned up so well, but what about brown leather dress shoes? Check out my Ellen Edmonds restoration here. Subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss a step on our leather loving journey, and remember to love your leather. See you in the next one.